I'm still rolling along through the state of Hessen. The scenery's great, but there are hills, hills, and more hills. After a short ride, I'm now in the south of Darmstadt. Still, I'm starting to get tired of switching legs every 10 times. It's so boring. But I'm getting closer to my goal. I have 57 days and a respectable 1,673 kilometers behind me. And on my way, I discover the famous Frankenstein Castle. Spooky. In 1818, when she was just 21, British writer Mary Shelley's famous novel Frankenstein was published. In it, Dr. Frankenstein creates a monster that soon develops its own life. People say it's no accident that the castle here bears the same name as the doctor. I talked to some of the visitors. Was the Frankenstein monster really created here? Well, I can't tell you that, but the castle was built on Frankenstein Hill. Well, a scientist lived here and he tried out experiments on dead people, I think. Certainly possible. When you're up around the castle, there are these really scary spots, so it's not unthinkable that this is the place. Ah, yeah, this is here. Oh. <laughs> so who knows? As I tour the castle, I imagine the famous Dr. Frankenstein in the dungeon at full moon, putting the final touches on the monster. Okay, I can imagine a lot, but only an expert can know. Matthias Bürger has leased the castle. Was there ever an operating table down in the dungeon here? An operating table? I don't know. It was 200 years ago. But Johann Conrad Dippel von Frankenstein certainly dissected cadavers here, because he was a scientist, an alchemist, and a famous man. In any case, the castle was first mentioned in a document in 1252. And the noble Frankenstein family lived here, without monsters. Germany has lots of castles and palaces, 25,000 of them. One breaks all tourist records, Neuschwanstein in Bavaria, with more than 1.4 million visitors a year. But there are more records. Burghausen is Europe's longest castle complex at just over a kilometer. And the world's longest sand castle was built in 2011 on the Baltic Sea island of Hügen. What's spookiest about this castle nowadays? Well, there are always spooky moments. Recently I went into the tower at 8.30 at night. It was dark, and under the tower is a room that used to be a cellar. A dungeon-like vault with no stairs. You can only get there through a hole, a five-meter drop. And I heard shrieks, and there was no one in the castle. And to this day, I don't know what that was. God. Okay, that does sound spooky. But from the castle wall, there's a fantastic view and nary a shriek far and wide. After the past few tiring weeks, I find it peaceful and relaxing. Nevertheless, I will give the castle a last chance to scare someone. Dressed up as Frankenstein's monster, I can help it regain its authenticity. seem to have scared away the last tourists. Time to move on, undaunted by the legends surrounding the castle. And using a scooter isn't spooky at all.